Okay, this is the GoFlex um, the GoFlex home network storage system. I took the drive out. This is the drive from uh, the storage system in this uh, in this in this enclosure here. I took it all apart. Everything's apart as you can see. Now the best use I'm gonna do with this now is to put it, I'm gonna put it in a um, in a portable enclosure that I have. So you could buy one of these at the store or pump USA or so they sell those things. So um, what I do is open up mine. I'm gonna open up my enclosure. You buy one for this is a SATA drive. As you can see here, this was a SATA drive. This is got the SATA connection. So I'm taking apart this um, this enclosure that I have. You could buy it at CompUSA or any any store like Newegg and so on to get that stuff here. And then I take the cover off. This is the SATA connection right here. You have your uh, one is the power and one is the adapter. For which the one's the power? Computer. Which one's the adapter? Well, this is the power and this is the um, so the smaller one. Oh. Yes, and then so you, all you have to do is connect your enclosure to it and then it should it's gonna work as a oh sorry i gotta connect this here now connect the two of them at this spot here and then you connect this other one here mine is a dual see this has id connections also id connection with the um id cable this is a dual so you can use an ide drive if you had one of those but now they only make it fade now um, the ID is phasing out uh, ID is more expensive and the SATA is much faster than IDE drives so this is what I did I just connect my um, connect my uh, my hard drive the hard drive from that GoFlex into this um, portable enclosure so I can use it as a basic hard drive <coughs> To around. store anything I want to store, and um, yeah, because I don't like that home network storage thing. It was giving me such a hard time with, with uh, backing up files and so on. Um, so I prefer this way. I just put it on my storage and it's safer. You don't have to go through a Seagate website to get to your stuff, which is you know I I really don't like it. Show but, where uh, you plug in that. Everybody's. Uh, <coughs> no, well, when, once you put your uh, when you put your enclosure back together, you just you know whatever you buy, you just put your enclosure back together like this. Oops. All right, and then you put it back together. You can buy an enclosure for a SATA drive um, at all these different stores, CompuSC, Newegg, and so on online. You go online, you can find all that information online, and. Um, and hopefully you'd have all the screws together. when you buy it. Well, uh, so you just screw it back up and uh, you connect your your adapter to your uh, you connect your adapter like this. You connect your adapter to your um, to, you, to your external drive. Your, ex 